girl i need to stop being so dang hard on myself i have like the hardest time filming introductions for some reason like i could film a million of them and be like no they're not good enough let's try one more time and by the last time i make the intro i'm hot i'm frustrated and now nervous when i should have just never deleted the first one so with that being said girl good morning Good morning, gorgeous. Today is such a beautiful day. I am so excited. First of all, let me go ahead and say though that today's video is going to be one day late because I did not want to upload this on Mother's Day, obviously, and it's not really a good idea. So I'm going to upload it the day after Mother's Day, meaning that it is going to be one day late. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Yasmin. If you are new to my channel, but if you're not, you already knew that. See us. Like I was saying, today is such a beautiful day. That means that your girl is going to be out today. I mentioned before time and time again that in Michigan there's really like not that much to do especially in like the little area that I live in I just want to move to another part of Michigan and see how I like it and see if this is that place for me because I went through like a whole little thing recently where I did not want to be in Michigan no more but now I'm kind of uh I'm kind of uh not really wanting to leave that's why the Lord says that feelings can be deceiving baby them things come and go can't just act on them you gotta sit and pray and wait in faith. All right, girl. Um, so I definitely wanna get out today and enjoy my day. I'm gonna have to go to Target today because I have to get my coffee stuff. I wanna do some outdoor, maybe walking and something like that because it is such a beautiful day. But y'all know I can't really be in, in the sun too much. So most of it will be indoors, but we're still gonna enjoy ourselves. And I say we are because we are, but Jordan's gonna come along with me, of course. So yeah, Target, I have to go to the bookstore because I am so obsessed with books right now. I love to sit here every single morning and read my books but I've, I've been going through them pretty fast so I have to buy some new ones and Barnes and Nobles is an amazing place to get books so I'm gonna go ahead and go there I don't really know the rest of my plan uh but uh yeah actually that's a lie I seen on a commercial that Ulta just came out with a new not Ulta Valentino came out with a new Born in Roma coral perfume. I have the original Born in Roma, but they just came out with the coral perfume and it's at Ulta, I believe, exclusively. This is kind of crazy only because y'all know how much I love buying new perfumes, um, testing out new perfumes. I do have a new perfume that went on sale on the Macy's website and it is over there in that box that I do want to try today, but I have not been liking any of these new perfumes people are dropping or I have not been liking any of the perfumes that I do not own. I only love the ones that I own, so I have not been buying any perfume. So we'll see how this one smells. If I don't buy it, y'all know it didn't smell good. But if I buy it, it smells good. We'll see. Anyway, so speaking of books, I love to read my books every single morning. It fills my cup back up so that I can go into my day with a nice clean slate, a refreshed mind, refreshed heart, with the mindset that I'm ready to tackle anything. So I wanted to go ahead and go over my highlights. Disclaimer, these are a lot of highlights. This is also a book that I have not talked about yet. This is the Joyce Meyer Powerful Thinking book. I will go ahead and put this up on my Amazon storefront, but I don't wanna ramble any longer because I have a lot of highlights to go over. So let's just hop right into it. How fear operates. Fear can absolutely paralyze us, which is why Satan uses it to steal from us in many ways. For example, the fear that we will not be accepted as we are causes us to develop phony personalities that stifle, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that word, our true selves and hide who God has made us to be. The fear of failure prevents us from trying new things or reaching beyond our comfort zone. The fear of the future can cause us not to enjoy the present. Mm. It just ruins your life. It just makes you miserable. You could be sitting in Candyland, and since you're so focused on the future, you're paralyzed and you can't even enjoy what is all around you. And then when the future comes, everything that you were scared about and worried about never happens. And you just ruined all your time to enjoy yourself. I believe fear is the devil's tool to keep us unhappy, frustrated, and out of God's will. It drains our courage, gives us a negative viewpoint, and prevents us from making progress. Destinies are destroyed because of fear. Fear of pain, fear of discomfort, fear of lack, fear of sacrifice, fear that life is going to be too hard, fear of losing friends, fear of being alone, fear of losing our reputation, fear that no one will understand us, fear that we are missing God and on and on. Fear is the enemy's perversion of faith. He says, believe what I am telling you. What you are trying to do is not gonna work. Your prayers aren't any good. You aren't in right standing with God. You are a failure. Fear always tells you what you're not, what you don't have, what you can't do, and what you will never be. But God's word tells you who you are, what you have, what you can do, and who you can be in him. Fear causes us to have little faith instead of big faith. And if we entertain it long enough, we will end up with no faith at all. 
this one right here hit me so hard y'all oh my gosh this junk hit me so hard i learned that i had to stop running and stand still long enough to see what god would do for me if i let my faith in him be larger than my fears i finally realized that each time each time god was leading me into a new area that would eventually be better for me the enemy launched an attack of fear against me why are you so full of fear in certain areas of your life we all know fear comes only from the enemy why would the enemy try to instill fear if there wasn't something in that that he knew was going to help you and benefit you he ain't gonna give you no fear with something that's gonna knock you all the way down to the ground tear your life up ruin you shatter you in pieces Break your heart, ruin your mindset, destroy your goals. I want you to think about that. This right here is also extremely powerful. When fear knocks on the door of our lives, if it finds us full of faith, it cannot enter. And let me tell y'all something. Faith strictly comes by the word of God. Fear weakens us in every way, but faith adds courage, boldness, confidence, and energy to our lives. Another thing that I want to go ahead and say is I've spoken about it so much. I was honestly blown away and taken aback by how much faith allowed miracles to happen in the time that Jesus was on earth. There have been so many times where he was like, because of your faith, you are healed. Because of your faith, your son is healed. Because of your faith, because of your faith, because of your faith. Blessings and miracles shower down when you have that faith in Christ. When Satan comes to attack you with fear, make sure you are filled with faith so there will be no place of entrance for him. Fear and faith cannot coexist. Where you have one, you will not have the other. God's word builds faith in your heart, so study it and meditate on it. We can easily feel afraid if we think about the future and the things that are unknown to us. We can look at it two ways. Either we can be negative and fearful or we can be excited about being part of God's mystery. Knowing that he knows exactly what's going to happen and is right there with us, helping us and directing us. We don't need to worry about the next step because God will be there to guide us when the time comes. In my Do It Afraid book, I also have some highlights from today. Very powerful highlights. Yes, ma'am. Highlighting the parts that stick out to you are very important because at any time, you can go through your book and read those highlights. What is impossible with human beings is possible with God. Faith leads to boldness and boldness leads to success. Boldness is the answer to fear. Fear will come, but boldness can chase it away. God is able to do much more than we can ask, think, or imagine through his power that works in us. Faith is the hand that reaches out and receives what Jesus paid for and offers us graciously. Realistically, we cannot ever experience and live in the abundance and amazingness that the Lord has set out for us and predestined for us unless we have faith. Because faith is that hand that reaches out and receives what Jesus paid for. I'm the kind of person that likes to be a little controlling at times. So I like to be in control of everything. I like to feel like everything is under control and I will get everything done and I will do this and I will do that. I like to put it all on myself. And at the end of the day, I regret it every single time because it has drained my energy. It has given me crazy anxiety. It, make, it makes me complain 24 seven. And in this book, it spoke about some things that can keep us unplugged from God. And complaining is one of those things. I encourage you to start your day with God and realize each morning that you are nothing without God and that it is foolish to merely try to do in your own strength what needs to be done that day. I can't do everything that needs to be done in a day in my own strength. Why? You may push through it, but you won't enjoy it and you will be exhausted at the end of the day. The Lord really just truly wants us to enjoy everything in life. And that is how you confuse the enemy, by enjoying everything in life. Even the things that you didn't even want to do. Girl, find a way to enjoy it. I don't want to straighten up my house this morning, but I got to. I'm going to find a way to enjoy it. I'm going to put on my music. I might dance a little bit. Who knows? Thanking the Lord Jesus Christ that I got a sink and clean water and dishes to wash. We are coming to the end, you guys, but before I go ahead and end it off, I'm gonna go ahead and share this one last thing. I have a question before I go into it. Have you ever filled yourself with the Word of God, whether through a sermon, um, the Bible, um, Christian books, um, a podcast, etc., etc.? You feel amazing, you feel unstoppable, and then out of nowhere, you don't feel that anymore. Let me tell you something. When you feel those great feelings, that is God's power flowing through your body. So we're gonna call it power flow, as Joyce Meyer says it in this book. In our daily lives, if the power flow stops, we may have to make a change because something is hindering its flow. A number of things can cause God's power to short circuit in our lives. There are a lot more than the three examples that follow, but I think you will get the point with these. She only gave three examples of things, and honestly the most common examples that can 
hinder that power flow. The first thing is complaining. Oh my gosh, complaining. Lock it! I've always been a complaining kind of person. I've always been a complainer. It definitely is a learned behavior because my dad complained all the time. He could never be happy for more than two seconds. So it was a learned behavior, but we all have free will and you decide or you make the choice to carry that on, okay? So complaining can hinder that power flow. People may ask for power or grace to accomplish certain difficulties. They receive it and things go along fairly well, but they start to complain about what they have to do in order to complete the task. If you want to keep the power flowing, you will need to remain thankful. Be thankful and say so to him. Psalms 104. Now the second thing is the feelings of self-pity. Your attitude is yours and nobody can force you to have a bad attitude about anything if you don't want to have one. Although you may be going through something difficult and seemingly unfair, feeling sorry for yourself will only make it worse. Self-pity leads to discouragement and often to depression. It can also cause people to be jealous and envious of people who don't have the problems they have. Can you be happy for someone who is being blessed while you are suffering? And last but not least, being greedy for glory. Some people receive God's power and they do great things or they succeed at accomplishing something difficult. At first, they are thankful, but after a while, they start taking credit for what God has done taking the glory that God I mean taking the glory that belongs to God will definitely hinder the flow of God's power in our life and that is only pride when you believe that everything you have is because of you when pride chases you run to God and begin to thank him for the grace he has given you pride will cause believers to short circuit their power all right sis so now that that is all said let's go ahead and hop into my plan for today right now I'm gonna go ahead and begin straightening up my kitchen my kitchen needs some serious uh, love because it's a little messy I have to mop my floors. Y'all already know. I am really weird about certain things, especially when it comes down to animals. And I have an animal now, which she wants to be at my feet all the time. Anyway, I know her paws are not clean, going outside. Sometimes she accidentally steps in her pee. Not sometimes, all the time. And I have to always sweep my floors. I mean, mop my floors. I mop my floors every single day with the Swiffer. Every single day. Like when I tell y'all, every single day, it's crazy. But today's the day where I have to go ahead and go over all of my floors with the O Cedar mop, which is like the real mop. That's like the real cleaning. So I gotta go ahead and just mop the little bit of hard floors that I have because I have been tweaking out in my mind a little bit, walking on my floors, knowing that they're not really like sanitized and clean and she had an accident this morning and I had to like wipe off my floors and like disinfect them and stuff like that but I still be feeling like they're not clean enough so I gotta straighten up then I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair I have been putting this little bitty lamp in my bathroom for my baths and my showers well honestly just for my baths but I start putting that lamp in there while I'm showering now and it makes my showers so relaxing I already told you guys I gotta go to the bookstore Target and Ulta then I want to do like some outdoor activities maybe like some basketball outside with Jordan I'm not really sure it's not gonna be too busy of a day which is okay I find myself having the best days ever when my schedule is not like packed even if it's a schedule of fun so it's gonna be a real chill kind of day nothing crazy nothing out of ordinary it's time for your girl to go ahead and start cleaning up her kitchen let me show y'all your girl has been trying to cook way more so I have like way more dishes than I usually do my stove is a mess girl like this looks so nasty where's the other light at my stove is nasty i gotta go ahead and sweep and mop these floors my living room is not bad at all it's just getting these pillows all on my couch prettily and stuff like that i don't even think prettily is a word but pretty like <laughs> i need to go ahead and like organize those shoes over there just mop all this area and honestly that is it like that is all i have to do hi honey good morning good morning pretty girl good morning honey good morning down my baby girl down my baby girl down my baby i love my girl that is my girl. No, please don't jump up on me. Please don't jump up on me. No, 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 no. Ooh, no, 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 no. Girl, I ain't gonna say please to nobody. Down. When you give your kids a bunch of options, that's when they feel like they on your level. Please get down. Please get down. No, no, no. Get your butt down right now. I ain't playing with you. Girl, let's start straightening up.
Thank you. 
Sweet baby, it's time for you to go in your cage, honey. Mommy has to mop, and I don't want you on those chemicals, girl. It's time for nap time anyway, girl. Y'all see your girl got the windows open, yes ma'am. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and straighten up my living room. Then it's gonna be time for me to go ahead and start mopping these floors. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep first and then mop. I mop these floors separate than those floors because of the gate and obviously, wait, what? Because the gate and everything, obviously. I'm gonna feel so accomplished and 10 times cleaner when I get these dang floors all mopped and swept. Girl, it's gonna feel so amazing. But yes, my kitchen is fully clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with some concentrated room spray. My favorite right now is the coconut sandalwood by bath and body works this is very strong so i'm gonna go ahead and spray two sprays of that and let's get started with the rest of my cleaning Y'all, it is time for your girls to go ahead and buy another camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and have to repurchase the camera that I already have because there is something seriously wrong with it. If my camera hits something too hard, it will delete my footage. So I'm like, there must be something inside of the camera that's messing with the SD card. But when I tell you guys, I just got done sweeping, organizing, mopping all on camera and that footage is gone. For you guys' sake, I'm not gonna sweep again because there's really no point in that. But I am just gonna go over all of these floors one more time with the mop. It's not a bad idea to anyway, even if I wasn't trying to re-record. So with that being said, no sweeping. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly go over all of my flooring one more time it smells amazing in here this is just some pine salt and water i showed you guys me putting it in etc etc but all that footage is gone so it looks like your girl just has to go ahead and repurchase this camera again because there is something wrong with it Whew, this is absolutely amazing you guys it feels so amazing to have a nice clean relaxing good smelling home my home smells like pine saw and then also my favorite concentrated room spray i sprayed this around this is the coconut sandalwood room spray concentrated this is amazing i love when my home is clean i love that my floors feel clean this little area these floors feel the worst because of her little paws i keep her in this little area so like i said i have been having to swiffer every single day i'm a little 
irritated about the whole entire camera situation but i can either have a positive attitude and say thank you jesus that i'm even able to afford a new camera it's most definitely expensive um but i'm just grateful that i have the funds to do so and i'm grateful that i read that in um joyce meyer's book today it was in the self-pity section she was giving it as an example she was saying you know two different guys have to get their car fixed one of them is like why is this happening to me why do i have to get my car fixed this and this and that had like a self-pity moment and the other one was like hey Thank you, Jesus, that I even have the funds to be able to pay to get my car fixed. Amen. Okay, sis, so now your girl is getting ready. My hair is all fresh. My body is all fresh. I am so ready to get out in this beautiful weather. I have one side of my hair done. The other side still needs some product. You can tell the difference. I am going to be wetting my hair with this Pantene Miracle Rescue 10 in 1 multitasking spray. I always like to use some kind of like watery product, even if it's just water, because it makes your product work way better and it also defines your curls like none other. Y'all got this little dress on today. I bought it in Miami at Zara and I wore it for my 18th birthday. My 19th is coming up, but I literally have not worn this dress in a year since my 18th birthday. That's wild. It's in great condition, obviously, because I've only worn it once, but it's so cute, you guys. Like, I love it. And I'm sure y'all already know that I have Jordan on the way right now. Y'all already know I'll be having him drive everywhere. Plus, he's like my best friend. What I use in my curly hair is this Kim Kimball Healing Leave-In Conditioner. I buy this strictly at Walmart. I haven't been able to really find it anywhere else. And then I mix it with my Olaplex Bond Smoother, y'all. These two mix so well, and they really do truly define my curls. I don't use this by itself because it's too expensive, and I use a lot of product. People always talk about some use it dime size amount of curling cream use a dime size of shampoo girl, who oh i didn't even mix it with my olaplex girl what are you doing oh my goodness girl okay um yeah and i just go ahead and rake it through my hair like so rake it through so that's evenly kind of like in there and then i start moisturizing it like into my hair and like rubbing it into my hair and then i just get the back of my hair like so rake it through rake it through so that the back of my hair isn't looking all frizzy and crazy Get that all in there, yes ma'am. And then I also scrunch that. 
Now we are all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my earrings in. I really gotta open up this Macy's package so I can see if this perfume smells good. Alrighty, y'all. So this is by Donna Karen. I love the green version of this, but this is the DKNY Extra Be Delicious. I have the Be Delicious, but this is the Extra Be Delicious. So this is more of like a pink bottle um, than the green one. Okay, so the one that I have is Be Delicious, which smells like green apple, magnolia, and sandalwood. Mostly green apple. And then this one is fresh pear, gardenia, and caramel. I'm gonna spray it on my wrist and see how I feel about it. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this perfume today with my Good Girl Supreme by Carolina Herrera. I'm gonna mix these two together. If I do not like how this perfume smells today, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to my, mom, to my mom because I can smell that caramel and it definitely smells like something that my mom would wear. If I do not like how this smells on my body, my mom will be getting this. If I like it mixed in with my good girl Supreme, we might just keep it, but we had to see. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this first and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my other perfume. I love how long this dress is, you guys. Like it goes all the way to the bottom. I'm a little sure that this is not really gonna mix in with my chemistry the best because when I spray it on my skin, it has more of like that caramelly kind of smell. But when I spray it on my clothes, it has more of like the fresh green pear kind of smell or whatever. The skin part is telling me the truth. I'm not a big fan of that perfume. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give that to my mom. I ain't, I ain't doing it. But I love me, my good girl Supreme. This definitely smells absolutely amazing. And we are on the road, yes ma'am. My sweet little baby brought me some nacho fries. I'm so excited. I am so obsessed with nacho fries. The other day he bought me four things of nacho fries in two different trips because I was craving them so bad. He brought me them this morning. He's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So your girl is finna smash these dang nacho fries and we are headed to Barnes. Barnes and Nobles. I'm really, where are you going? Where? Go all the way around. We gotta hop on the highway. We're going to Barnes and Nobles. That's it. That's all the way at the other mall. Oh my gosh. I love when whatever Taco Bell location actually seasons them. <gasps> you got me too? Yeah. Thank you. You smell so freaking good. Thank you. Oh, oh you're goodness. so sweet. Mm -hmm. I love that dress on you. I really do. You do? Yes. Thank I really you. do like it. Thank you. Y'all, I got a cardigan with this dress. Oh I didn't show you guys the cardigan, but I did throw on a cardigan. I had just got hot when I got in the car, but. <coughs> Is that a blue freeze for me? Yeah. Thank you! Mm. You're the best. Thank you. And we have arrived to the bookstore. I'm so excited. Y'all, I got these sandals on that I bought like two years ago from the beauty supply store and I forgot how dang floppy they are. I'm having a hard time walking, but they're cute. <laughs> so I'm sacrificing today. They really are too. They really are. They're seriously like just like- shining. Yes, they just bling in the dang sun. They're <laughs> so cute. I need to get back to the beauty supply store, beauty supply store, so I can find some more cheap, cute sandals and anklets and junk. <laughs> Not today though. Look at her, yeah. Look how gorgeous she is. Thank you. Oh, my Literally. dirty car. Okay, your car is not dirty. It is. Thank you, though. Then my car is disgusting. <laughs> and we are here. I have been looking for these Joyce Meyer books everywhere, you guys, and all I could find were devotionals down there, but I finally made it to the Joyce Meyer section, and I'm about to freak out, y'all. I have been wanting this Healing the Soul of a Woman book. Can you put that in there, babe? I want to grab this your battles belong to the lord book as well i go through these books so fast and i love that i can also reread them and take something different from them every single time living a life you love that one's also going to come in handy because i definitely want to live a life that i love and enjoy and then down here i didn't even know kiera sheard even wrote a book and i grabbed her big bold and beautiful book and then i grabbed a cute little bible case for my reading books and my bible if i want to travel with them like this is so amazing i'm so excited so i got four new books these are definitely going to run me up a little penny but 
these are seriously great for changing your mindset and overall just changing your life i feel like it's so disrespectful that they have all this beautiful jesus stuff over here and all that weird witchcraft stuff over there like that's so right. i don't like that but hey this is way more powerful and this can cast out all of that junk let's get it <laughs> and here we are i got all of my things i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little haul even though i did show you guys everything my nails look so bad they have nail glue on them um i want to go to target i don't know if you remembered but target next Yep. This is my lap desk, you guys. It has natural wood. It feels so nice. And I am so excited to go ahead and try this out because I actually have been needing one. It ain't nothing like having a hot laptop. Lap Wait, what? <laughs> having a hot laptop on your thighs. And then in here, I have my super cute Jesus um, bag or whatever for my Bible. Now, this is amazing because even though I don't really lose my Bible, I do misplace it. So, I do have to say that this is going to come in handy because this is a whole entire bag and this will not be that easy to misplace one thing i love about joyce meyer's books and all of her books is her layout with all of her books i love how easy it is to read how spaced out it is i love how big the letters are i just love her books overall all of it is truth i haven't read one of her books that hasn't helped me and this is the your battles belong to the lord this one is going to help me live my life and be happier with my life and love my life this one right here is going to help me not try to fight my own battles and this was so cute just the packaging but this is grace not perfection this is really just about not overwhelming yourself and not overworking yourself are you trying to do it all only to end up exhausted frantic and occasionally out of sorts with the people you love busy wife mother business owner and designer emily lee explores the motivations for pursuing a simpler life one that allows you to breathe laugh enjoy and grow yes it is a little bit ripped so i did get 20 percent off of that and then last but not least i have big bold and beautiful by kiara sheard this is honestly just about yeah right here owning the woman god made you to be loving yourself and embracing what makes you, you. And then we have the healing the soul of a woman. I have been meaning to buy this one on Amazon. I just haven't really gotten to it. I love the packaging. I love like that matte black. And this is gonna be amazing as well because Joyce Meyer never fails with the amazing books. So. Your girl got some books and i am so excited i would have never thought i would be getting excited over books i have never been a book girl like i was always like girl who the heck want to read a book that's how you know you're growing up and getting older when you start getting excited about stuff like that facts that is actually very 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 real <laughs> <laughs> But we have made it to Target, and this is going to be a very responsible Target trip. This ain't going to be no lollygagging. Girl, this is going to be what it is, what it is. Okay. Dude. Oh. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, how <laughs> why are you at the close? No, <laughs> Look at these daisy dukes. Hold on, but don't skip past that. Like I'll skip I past it. This is responsible. Let me tell you why it's responsible. I'll tell you why it's responsible. Uh, okay. In life, you need clothes, shoes, water, home, shelter. That's why I'm getting just the bare necessities. Just the bare necessities. Just the bare necessities. Ooh. Ooh. I can't even argue with it. Go ahead. Oh, this is cute. Are these uh, Daisy Dukes? Honestly, I don't even know. Because they're cut like this. I honestly don't know what Daisy Dukes are. Your bottom cheek going to be all the way to the floor. Yeah, that's it. Like it's all the way out. Man, I had a friend growing up that her mom let her wear whatever she wanted, like whatever. Her butt cheeks, this this much could be hanging at the bottom of it. At 10 years old, 9 years old, her mom did not care. Oh my God. So I tried to do it. And my mom was like, oh, heck no. When I tell you, she was like, you my child. You ain't her child. Mm -hmm. I ain't raised her. You mine. <laughs> so then, yeah. then her mom tried to catch on to my mom's wave. And then mm -hmm. she wanted to make her stop doing it. But obviously, when that's not your parenting, you're not going to stick with it. Right. But... That's another thing that I was trying to tell people. Just the difference between, you know, being raised by a black mom and being raised by a white mom. That's the difference that I was talking about. Not saying that all white moms let their children dress oh. like that. Mm -hmm. But I had a lot of differences with every single mixed kid that I grew up with because I couldn't relate to them. It's yeah. very different. Very different. I'm not going to lie. I cannot find my butterfly shirt. And I want to buy another one because I can't find it. Did you wear the other one quite a bit? No, I wore it one time. One time? Yeah. But I like those butterfly bottoms, so I'm going to actually grab the gray ones as well because these fit hip-hop style, for real. Those are nice. They fit hip-hop style, too. We got to get to a lint roller. I know. Let's remember that then. Okay. I'll try something new today.
one of my favorite parts about reading and then doing my bible studies and stuff like that is like highlighting but i love buying new highlighters so i'm like uh which one should i get i want to get like they have highlight and erase dude what the heck are these clear view highlighters these look super dope put those in the cart real quick thank you I also love having new notebooks to go ahead and stay organized and stuff like that. I bought a planner recently, but I have not really been reaching for it at all. I always go back to my notebooks. Like, what the heck did I buy a planner for? I thought I needed it. Now I know I don't need it. So I'm like, I got to get some kind of new notebook because I honestly stay way more um, organized when I have notebooks. So I got to figure out what kind of notebook I want to buy. I don't really need one right now, but I want one because I love them and I love getting new ones. Ooh, jot it down. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, I probably should have went to Walmart to get like a notebook because obviously they're going to be like $2 there and then $10.99 here. But this is cute. I like this all black. That is adorable. I have the green version of this and that's the one that I write in every single day. Okay, and the last but not least items are my Clorox wipes and then some bleach for mopping. If Lockett has an accident, then I just go ahead and wipe it all up with these Clorox wipes. These come in handy so well. I've gone through so many of these in the last little weeks that I've had her. And of course, I gotta have my bleach. Today I did um, mop with Pine Saw because I had no bleach, but this is gonna make me feel way more clean when mopping my floors with bleach. So we are in the clear. Let's get it popping. Oh, wow, I did almost forget. <laughs> wow, good job, Jordan. No, boy, that's too expensive. Oh, no, we're gonna get the knockoff. Ain't it come more. Look, look here. Y'all, I am so glad I finally got some bleach. I was telling you guys how I stopped using bleach for a very long time. It was starting to make me sick. I started not to like the smell of it. I started to have like a little bit of a hatred for bleach, but with having this dang puppy, y'all, I don't like germs. I don't like bacteria. I don't like knowing that there's nastiness on my floor or anywhere in my home. And bleach is the only thing that gives me peace of mind that my house is actually like disinfected and like clean. Girl, I got me some bleach, y'all. So I ain't gonna use no pine saw to mop my floors if I got my bleach. So I'm gonna go ahead and start bleaching my floors down again all right y'all and it was a success first when i sprayed it on the paper i was like ew that's like nothing like it smells like water like it has no kind of scent at all and then when i sprayed it on my hand it actually mixed in with my chemistry very beautifully and it really is like a coral fantasy it's like fruity with like the tiniest bit of floralness like it's very beautiful it's a very beautiful twist on the valentino born in roma original fragrance here goes the bottle you guys it's very beautiful very spiky it's the same exact bottle as the rest of the born in roma fragrances this oh my gosh smell it Mmm, that is good. So what I like about this is that I do try to look for perfumes that have like a body spray kind of smell, but also a perfume smell that are going to last. We all know body sprays do not last, but I love a lot of body sprays. I just can't wear them because they don't last. So this is giving me body spray vibes, but not like cheap body spray. It's fruity, but it's also... Let me look up the notes because I will figure it out. I was literally spot on. Fragrance from... Fragrance, fragrance family is fruity floral. Like I said, top note is orange, middle note is jasmine and rose, base note is amber and musk. You love musk, don't you? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give that a 10. It smells very nice on you. I'm gonna give it a 10 as well. I love that. Like I said, y'all, walking into your home after you just got done cleaning, oh my gosh, it is one of the best feelings in life. My home smells like coconut sandalwood and pine salt, girl, and it's spotless. He's getting my puppy, y'all. She is here, oh my goodness, my little baby. Oh my goodness. Get through the door. Hi, honey. Honey, do you miss me? Do you miss me? <laughs> that hurt, she kept my little foot. Oh my goodness. the heck out of my foot Jordan and I got this big old red mark on my feet from those sandals Jordan oh my God. Uh, Settle sandals down. no wonder why I stopped wearing them dang sandals I like oh girl what you making all that noise for ah! hey no ma'am we don't bark no you know better than that don't you ever she knows when she's in trouble too and this it oh. dang you just hit me I'm trying to cool you off hey wait 
Y'all, I found my butterfly shirt. Oh my goodness. And we are in style, you guys. Y'all already know at first when I bought this outfit, I was like, girl, I'm not wearing this out in public. But then when I put it on and then I seen it with my gold chain, I was like, oh my gosh, this outfit is actually kind of cute. I'm gonna go ahead and match this up with my white Crocs. It's gonna be perfect, you guys. It's super simple, but not too simple because these butterflies really are like a statement piece. Like they're so cute. All your girl needs to do now, put on some deodorant, some perfume, Crocs, and I'm out the dough, baby. Oh. Let me let me back up and then walk up to you and smell you. Ooh. These mix together very well. You don't even know like the 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 good smell just radiating from you right now. <laughs> just radiating you know, from you, you right know. now. <laughs> Hi honey. Look how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Y'all, we came to the dog park, but it's actually flooded. And I guess they also have membership fees, but that doesn't even matter because it's flooded, so it's closed right now. So we're just walking her around, even though I'm not gonna lie, a lot of dog parks are made for big dogs and not little dogs. Like the dog park where I live has all toys for like big dogs. Her little self cannot even play with those. She wouldn't even know how to play with them dang toys. So even with that dog park, did you see one toy there? No, it was no, just a bunch of dirt for them to run around. Yeah. So I guess that's what a dog park is, just for dogs to run around in the gate. But it ended up being a fail anyway, you guys, because she just got done putting her paws all in the mud. Look at all this water that's down here. We just had to get done cleaning off her little paws, getting them all cleaned off with just water. Her paws were so gross, you guys. She had mud all in her curls, y'all. All in these dang paws. Now your feet are cold. Now what? Because you want to run in mud. Girl, you ain't no mud dog. You're a beautiful little princess. Look how she can she can walk for like five minutes and be passed out for like an hour. Mm -hmm. She's not like the crazy type of active dog. She's very calm. She's not really like that, and I'm not like it either. So it actually works out. But y'all, the dog the dog park was a fail. Oh my goodness. You like the sun though? Are you sun bathing? Her sun bathing. Oh, she walk. wants her belly, huh? We walk with her. She do not be caring about the walk. She just want to go in the grass and just exactly. start sniffing around in like one spot. Like, <laughs> yeah, she was done halfway through the walk. Like we hadn't even made it to the dog park yet. All right, so I forgot my camera at home, you guys, but we are all walking in downtown. I got my family with me. Lockett is still with my mom. She did not want to leave my mom. She was like, "Girl, what? I ain't going nowhere." Okay, but we are walking downtown, y'all. Yo, not like the hey, 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 this is Top Bell Bonds. If you don't get your, your, your homie free, you're a Top Bell Bonds right here. Okay, Brent. Oh, where are you going? And where are you going? Oh, you're recording? <laughs> I was like, you know, you got to back up a little more if you want to keep getting yeah, keep the good walking, view. Yeah, oh, my bad. I got, I, got the, I got the fuck to come behind area. We should probably retry. Hey, 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 don't hit the bench now. Hey, don't hit the bench. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my boy with the Yeezys, my boy with the Vans, Crocs, where's him? Cold dress shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I don't know. Yo, imagine you got one of these buildings right here with these little offices. Oh, yeah. I know, that would be so nice to have like a little space in there. I know, I want the whole thing, he said. I want the whole thing. That's for real. Look, it had a name just spray painted on the side or painted on the side. That would be so lit. High tech security. Oh yeah, sniper on every corner. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we just ordered. We just ordered cottage in. What are you talking about going to Jimmy John's? Cottage in. Our stuff is about to be done in like five minutes. I need a pre-snack. Pre-snack. Yeah. He said, "Cool, we're about to go to Jimmy John's right now. Let's go." We. He just got in the order and a huge. A huge order at. No, we're not going to Jimmy John's. We're not going. Why? It's closed. It's in line. Oh, That's where they record a Golden Globe. I don't believe it. Michigan amateur boxing right there. You, you, didn't, close the <laughs> you didn't close the place. You didn't close the place. Nice and beautifully closed. Mm, hallelujah. It's not open. It's not open. No, there really is people in here really trying to talk to you. Talking about some coming to the door. Oh my God. I shut it down. Cameron, what's going on? You know, one black folk want the rest of them got to run. ready, I don't know. It was too slow. Some of y'all have been gone. Play was gone. She was out here. We're going to survive. For real. We know exactly where we are. You remember Domino's on the corner? 
That means that Cottage Inn is over here. Oh, it is not. Oh, this is like some vampire Christian jewelry. Some vampire Christian jewelry. Look at that little bro. Did you see that? That's like. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know you get free like you get free crust on, on, on your pizza? No, you didn't know that. that. You didn't know. Why did you I thought you knew. What are you guys talking about? He said that you can get stuff on your on your on free your garlic butter. Free, free garlic, garlic butter on your yes, pizza? Yes. Why didn't you say nothing? Bro, I thought you knew. Why didn't you say anything? You say something. <gasps> Who orders cottage in? Exactly. I didn't know you guys. You're a scammer. I would have thought it was actually a You're a scammer, dude. Dude, I did not know that my camera had a flashlight on and I low key turned it towards them. They thought I was recording him. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Cottage Inn. Hi, girl. You have fun with Mimi? Hey, Mimi, I miss you. Honestly, she didn't even act like she missed me. She really loved Mimi. <laughs> Look how beautiful my mom is. So gorgeous.